It was a cloudy day. It looked like it was going to rain. Jim put on his raincoat and rain boots. He grabbed his umbrella and left his house. He had to walk to an elementary school to pick up his sister. It was three o'clock. Jim's little sister was coming out of school. He walked along the streets. He looked at his clothes. His rain boots were black. His raincoat was green. His jeans were blue. His umbrella was red. Jim looked around as he walked. People were dressed similarly. The clouds looked dark. They were heavy with rain. Jim walked faster. Jim arrived at 3.20. The school bell would ring at 3.30. Jim needed to wait 10 more minutes. He was at the front gate. There were parents waiting alongside with Jim. The school bell rang. Children were escorted to the front gate. Jim's sister ran up to him. They hugged and walked home together. Jim and his sister were walking home from school. How was school? Jim asked. It was nice, said Jim's sister. Her name was Nancy. Nancy was seven. She had black hair. Her hair was short and straight. She also had braces. Jim forgot to bring an umbrella for Nancy. Jim and Nancy huddled together under Jim's umbrella. The rain fell lightly. Let's hurry, Jim said. Jim and Nancy walked faster. Jim stepped on a puddle. The water splashed. Nancy's pants got wet. I'm sorry, Jim said. It's okay, said Nancy. It started raining more. They soon arrived home. Lightning struck across the sky. It sounded loud. They were safe inside. Nancy's clothes were wet. She changed her clothes. Jim did the same. Nancy looked out the window. It was raining hard. She was glad to be inside. Jim felt the same. His stomach was growling. He had not eaten in five hours. He was starving. He went to his kitchen. He took out a loaf of bread. The bread was made from wheat. It was his favorite bread to eat. He grabbed two slices. He opened the fridge. He gathered all the ingredients. He laid them out across the table. He opened the jar of mayonnaise. It was low-fat mayonnaise. He spread it across the slice of bread. He used a knife to spread the mayonnaise. He unzipped the container of ham. The ham was honey-glazed. He grabbed four slices of ham. He put it on the bread slice. He opened the cheese container. He grabbed a slice and put it on top of the ham. He cut some tomatoes and lettuce. He put the vegetables on top of the cheese and ham. He glazed it all with ketchup and mustard. The sandwich was ready for him to eat. She woke up one morning and felt hungry. She did not eat anything last night. She got out of bed and walked into her kitchen. The kitchen was clean. She thought about what to eat for breakfast. She opened her refrigerator and took out a carton of eggs. 
She opened her cabinet and reached for a bowl. She cracked four eggs into the bowl. She stirred the eggs with a spoon. She turned on the stove and placed a pan on the stove. She turned the knob on the stove. The fire was lit. She grabbed a stick of butter from the fridge. She tossed the butter on the hot pan. She grabbed the bowl of eggs and threw them on the pan. She scrambled them with a spatula. The eggs cooked in minutes. They smelled delicious. Reading a book is fun. Books make you smarter. They also make you a better reader. John loves to read books. He reads books on sunny days. He reads books on cloudy days and reads books on rainy days. John has read many books. He read his first book in second grade. His teachers were very impressed. John was a good student. He had the highest grades in class. John learned a lot about reading books. He learned new words. He learned new verbs. He learned new adjectives. John reads every day. He has learned about the world. He has learned about history. He has learned about animals. He has learned about people. John loves to learn. He learns something new every day. John has many books. He has large bookshelves. They are full of books. John collects books. He has bought books at bookstores. John wants to read every book in the world. Watching television is entertaining. Sam loved watching television. He watched it all the time. He watched it in the morning. He watched it in the afternoon. He watched it in the evening. He loved watching it late at night. The television was always on in Sam's house. There's always something to watch on television. Sam watched cartoons. Sam watched the news. Sam watched sports. Sam watched documentaries. Sam watched movies. Sam watched sitcoms. Sitcoms were his favorite to watch. Watching television can be good for you. Watching television is relaxing. Watching television is informing. Watching television can bring people together. Sam liked watching television with friends. Sam recorded television shows. He had a device that would record shows. Sam recorded all his favorite shows. He re-watched them all the time. Sam had many recordings. Sam wants to be an actor. He wants to appear on television. It is his dream. He exercised every day. He lifted weights. He ran on the track. He rode his bicycle everywhere. He did pull-ups and push-ups. He did sit-ups and crunches. He loved being in shape. It felt great. He felt powerful. He felt vital. He felt fast. He felt attractive. It made him feel confident. People complimented his appearance. 
Look at those muscles, people said to him. Thank you, I work out, he replied. He wasn't always in shape. He used to be fat. He did not like being fat. He was made fun of. He had a low self-esteem. He felt unattractive. His body felt tired and heavy. He had no energy. He knew he had to change. He looked in the mirror one day. He promised himself to lose weight. He stopped eating unhealthy food. He started moving around more. He went jogging at night. He bought a gym membership. He lost weight. She ate a lot of food. She ate cheeseburgers. She ate chips. She ate sweets. Every day, she ate these types of foods. She was always hungry. She did not like vegetables or fruits. She never drank water. She only drank soda or juice. She was big. She did not exercise. She was happy about her appearance. People made fun of her. Lose weight, people said to her. Stop eating, people said to her. No, thank you, she replied. I'm happy with how I look, she said. She loved eating fattening foods. Nothing could change her diet. She went to see a doctor. The doctor told her to lose weight. She did not want to lose weight. Her doctor explained why she had to lose weight. She could die. She became scared. She did not want to die. She decided to lose weight. He saw a dog on the sidewalk. The dog looked lost. He approached the dog. He pats his head. Nice doggy, he said to the dog. The dog wagged his tail. The dog had a collar. He looked at the collar. It read the dog's name. His name was Spike. Spike was a small dog. He looked well-groomed. Come on, Spike, he said to the dog. The dog followed him home. He brought the dog upstairs to his room. He opened a jar of dog food. He used to have a dog. He poured the dog food into a bowl. He placed it in front of Spike. Spike started eating. I'll take care of you, Spike, he said to the dog. He knew the dog did not belong to him. He printed posters of Spike. The poster said, Found Dog. He went around hanging the poster. Nobody came to find Spike. Spike was a friendly dog. He was obedient. Spike did as he was told. He only barked when threatened. He never bit anybody. Spike liked to play catch. Spike ran after the ball when it was thrown. Spike returned the ball to his owner's hand. Spike had black fur. Spike was abandoned by his previous owner. He was found by a boy. The boy took care of Spike. The boy loved Spike, and Spike loved him back. The boy walked Spike in the afternoons. Strangers loved to pet Spike. Spike liked being pet. He liked to lick people's hands and faces. Who's a good boy, strangers said to Spike. Spike would get excited 
and jump around. Spike was the perfect dog. The boy never thought of abandoning Spike. Spike never ran away. Spike and the boy were friends for the rest of their lives. He was trying to catch a bus. The bus left without him. He was running. He tripped and fell. He was lying on the sidewalk. Are you all right? A girl asked. He was holding his arm. His arm hurt. I think I broke my arm, he said to the girl. The girl dialed 911. Help is on the way, the girl said. She helped him up. He sat down on a bench. He wondered why he fell. He looked down at his shoes. His laces were untied. He always forgot to tie his shoes. He never imagined breaking his arm. He started to tear. His arm was in terrible pain. The ambulance is coming soon, the girl said. She felt bad for the boy. She had broken her arm before. She knew how much it hurt. The ambulance arrived. The paramedics took the boy. Thank you, he said to the girl. You're welcome, she replied. It was three o'clock. She was learning how to roller skate. She had always wanted to learn. She could not afford to buy roller skates before. Now she was older. She had a job. She bought her first pair of roller skates yesterday. It is never too late to learn anything. She was at the park. She put on protective clothing. She wore a helmet and knee pads. Always safety first, she said to herself. She slipped on her roller skates. She got on her feet and skated away. She held on a railing at first. It was scary wearing roller skates. With practice, she improved. Days later, she was roller skating naturally. It was so much fun. She tripped and fell a few times. She got up every time and tried again. She never got hurt. Her helmet and knee pads protected her from injury. Roller skating was so much fun. She was lying on the beach. It felt really calm. The sun was beaming down. It was not too hot. The weather was perfect. She was lying on her stomach. She was in paradise. Suddenly, something happened. Someone ran by. Sand was kicked on her back. She was startled. She sat up to see who kicked it. There were a lot of people around. She did not see who ran by. She felt angry. Someone had ruined her moment in the sun. She lied back down. Minutes later, someone ran by again. Sand was kicked on her back. She rose instantly. She saw a kid hiding. He was laughing. She stood up and walked towards the kid. Were you kicking sand on my back? She asked the kid. The kid was scared. He started crying. She felt guilty for making him cry. Don't cry, she said. I'm sorry, the kid said. She never came back to that beach again.
Tommy needed to raise money for his football team. The team needed new uniforms. Tommy needed an idea. He asked his mom for help. His mom had a good idea. Tommy's mom loved baking. She decided to have a bake sale. Tommy loved the idea. They would sell cookies and pies. They planned the bake sale. It would be next Saturday. Tommy needed to raise two hundred dollars. Tommy and his mom got to work. Tommy baked different kinds of cookies. He baked chocolate chip cookies. He baked oatmeal cookies. He baked sugar cookies. Tommy tasted the cookies. The cookies were delicious. His mom baked different kind of pies. She cooked cherry, apple, pecan, and blueberry pies. All the cookies and pies were sold. Tommy raised a lot of money. He raised over two hundred dollars. The bake sale was a success. The day of the math test was next Monday. He had three days to study. He did not like math. It was the hardest subject. He had to study in order to pass. He locked himself in his room. He turned off his phone. He shut off his computer. There could be no distractions. He left his radio on. Music helped him study. Every day he studied for hours. After two days he stopped. He needed help. He could not solve a math problem. He called his friend. His friend was good at math. He asked his friend if he could help. His friend said yes and came over. His friend helped him study for three hours. He was ready to take the test. His friend wished him good luck. The day of the test came. He took the test. He passed the test. Studying had paid off. She was graduating from high school. She was excited. Graduation was in one week. She had to prepare for graduation. She went to the store. She bought makeup and hair products. She wanted to look her best. Next, she had to buy her graduation gown at her school. The gown was dark blue. It looked nice. She took it home. She hung it in her closet. Graduation was three days away. She was proud of graduating. Her family was also proud. She was the first one to graduate from high school in her family. It was a big accomplishment. She planned to go to college. Graduation day came. She got dressed and ready. Soon she was at the event. Her family was there. They watched from a distance. They called her name. She went to pick up her diploma. The audience cheered. Her family was happy. She was happier. Yogurt tastes sweet. Ice cream is also sweet. She likes to eat yogurt. Her friend likes to eat ice cream. Her friend is a guy. His favorite flavor of ice cream is chocolate. He does not like yogurt. Her favorite flavor of yogurt was strawberry. She did not like ice cream. One day she asked him a question. Have you tried chocolate-flavored yogurt? Her friend decided to try it. 
They went to a yogurt shop together. He bought a cup of yogurt. It was chocolate flavored. He sprinkled peanuts on his yogurt. He tasted the yogurt. He liked it. He asked her a question. Have you tried strawberry flavored ice cream? She said she didn't and wanted to try it. One night, they went to an ice cream shop together. She bought an ice cream cone. It was strawberry flavored. She tasted the ice cream. She liked it. They both now liked ice cream and yogurt. Lisa likes to draw. She also likes to paint. Drawing and painting are similar. She draws with a pencil. She paints with a paintbrush. Lisa draws many things. She draws cats. She draws vases. Lisa also draws people. Drawing is easy for Lisa. Lisa is a good drawer. Lisa is also a good painter. She paints landscapes. She paints sunsets. Lisa also paints people. Painting is more difficult than drawing for Lisa. Painting requires patience. Drawing is fast for Lisa. Lisa wants to be famous one day. Lisa paints every day. She draws every other day. Lisa paints in her room. Her room is full of art supplies. Her clothes also have paint. Lisa does not mind. Her favorite color is green. Green is the color of leaves. Lisa loves nature. She is painting a big tree. He heard his name. He turned around. Hello, who is there? He asked. He was working late. It was his turn to close the store. He was alone. He was at the register counting money. It was midnight. He was sleepy. His feet were tired. He had been standing for eight hours. He was almost finished. He turned around again. He heard footsteps. He was scared. He put the money down. He started walking towards the footsteps. Who is there? He said. No one replied. He saw movement. It was a person. I see you, he yelled. The person appeared. He started laughing. It was his girlfriend. She surprised him. What a nice surprise, he said. She was laughing too. He finished counting the money. They went home together. Oatmeal is good for you. It has fiber. Fiber is good for you. It keeps your colon clean and healthy. Oatmeal also contains whole grain. Whole grain is also good for you. It reduces the risk of heart diseases. It is recommended you eat 48 grams of whole grain every day. Oatmeal is easy to make. First, you grab a clean bowl. Second, you pour one serving of oatmeal into the bowl. Third, you pour a cup of milk into the bowl. Lastly, you put it in the microwave for three minutes. You can also cook it on the stove. Milk is also good for you. It contains calcium. Calcium 
is good for your bones. Oatmeal is a delicious breakfast. Sally was petting her cat. Her cat's name is Kitty. Kitty is a large black cat. Sally ran her finger down Kitty's back. She loved her cat. Her cat smelled like shampoo. She had been washed that morning. Cats do not like water. Kitty, on the other hand, liked water. Kitty was a friendly cat. Sally was on her bed. Kitty fell asleep. Sally was thirsty. She did not want to wake up Kitty. She picked up her cell phone. She called her little brother. She whispered into the phone and said, Get me a glass of water, please. Her brother said, Okay. He was downstairs watching television. He went to the kitchen. He got a glass of water. He took it upstairs to his sister's room. He did not know Kitty was asleep. He slammed the door open. Kitty woke up and ran away. He went to the furniture store. He needed a new couch. His old couch had broken. He walked around the store. He saw different couches. There were a lot of couches. He did not know which to buy. He saw a blue couch. It looked comfortable. He sat down on it. He stood up. He did not like it. He saw another couch. It was red. It looked soft. He sat on it. He rose to his feet. He did not like it. A person walked up to him. The person was a salesman. Can I help you, sir? asked the salesman. He told him he needed a couch that was comfortable. The salesman showed him a couch. The man tested it. He liked it. The couch passed the test. He bought it and took it home. It was the 4th of July. It came once a year. It is a day of celebration. It was Tom's favorite holiday. Tom bought many fireworks. His family had gathered together. They were all on his front yard. His nephew was excited. He was six years old. He wanted to light the fireworks. Tom handed him a sparkler. Be careful with that, Tom said to his nephew. I will, Uncle Tom, his nephew said. The fireworks started lighting up the sky. Tom and his family saw different colors of fireworks in the sky. They saw blue fireworks. They saw red fireworks. The fireworks were loud. They exploded in the sky. Everybody loved the fireworks. Tom was cooking hot dogs and hamburgers. He went inside his house and came back with Coke and plastic cups. Everyone ate and drank soda. The 4th of July is a fun holiday. Thanksgiving is a national holiday. It is celebrated once a year. Mark loved Thanksgiving. It is his favorite holiday. Every year, he cooks a turkey. Mark's wife helps him. Mark cooks other dishes, too. He makes stuffing, potato salad, and ham. Mark invites his family to his Thanksgiving. Mark has a large family. Mark's wife also invites her family. She has a small family. 
Everybody brings food to the table. There is always leftover food the next day. The doorbell rings. Mark invites his family inside. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody says to each other. The food is cooked. They wait for Mark's in-laws to arrive. The doorbell rings. Mark's in-laws come inside. Everybody sits at the table. The food is served. Everybody is smiling and talking. Everybody begins to eat. Thanksgiving is a festive holiday. David ran a marathon. He could not believe it. It was a big achievement. Running a marathon is not easy. David had to train all year long. David woke up every morning. He would put on his running shoes, drink a lot of water, and run out the door. David ran for hours. He stopped only when he finished. David ran again at night. He had a lot of energy. He never got tired. Running a marathon took a long time. David ran 26 miles and 385 yards. It took 5 hours and 30 minutes to finish. David was exhausted when he finished. He was really thirsty. He drank a gallon of water. He was still thirsty. David was happy. Running a marathon had been his wish. He could not wait to run it again next year. It was a beautiful day. Joe went to the park. There were people everywhere. Joe saw many things. He saw a boy riding a bike. He saw a girl swinging on a swing. He saw a family having a picnic. He saw a man playing the guitar. It was a happy sight. Joe took a deep breath. The air was fresh. The smell of flowers was in the air. The trees were swaying in the wind. Joe felt so alive. Joe heard a bell. He looked around and saw the ice cream man. He reached in his pockets. He grabbed three dollars. Hey, ice cream man, Joe yelled. The ice cream man stopped and turned around. He walked towards Joe. One ice cream, please, Joe said. The ice cream man handed Joe an ice cream bar. Thank you, said the ice cream man. Joe paid and went on his way. It was a sunny day. Everything was perfect. She went inside the music store. The music store sold all kinds of things. It sold records, compact discs, posters, and clothing. She loved listening to music. Her favorite kind of music was jazz. She collected old jazz records. Her collection had hundreds of records. She started collecting records at a young age. She was 15 when she got her first jazz record. Her dad had given it to her. It was a birthday present. She fell in love with jazz music that day. There was a special guest at the music store. He was a famous jazz artist. She was excited to see him. She owned all his records. His name was Miles Davis. He was a musical genius. She brought one of his records. It was her favorite record. There was a line to see the jazz artist. 
She waited in line. She met Miles Davis. He smiled and signed her record. She could not believe what had happened. A man was crossing the street. He was an elderly man. He walked like a turtle. It took him a long time to cross every day. He crossed the same street. Every time, he took a long time. The cross lights turned green. He was still crossing the street. Cars would honk at him. The man did not care. He could not cross any faster. Where is that man going? People would ask. No one knew where he went. The man walked with a cane. He had white hair and glasses. He crossed the street one day. A boy was standing on the corner. Where are you going? The boy asked. I don't know, replied the man. The old man was lost. Somehow he would find his way back home every day. It was a cold day. The wind was blowing. He was in his car. He was waiting for his friend. His whole body was shivering. He turned on the car's heater. It started heating the car. Suddenly, it stopped. He turned it on again, but the heater turned off again. It had stopped working. He was really cold. He had a sweater on, but it was not enough. He forgot to wear his jacket. How could I warm myself? He thought to himself. He remembered he had something in his trunk. He opened the car door and stepped out. It was even colder outside the car. There was no one outside. He opened his car trunk. There was a jacket. The jacket was old and smelly. He did not care. It was so cold. He put on the jacket. He went back inside the car. His friend finally arrived. He went to the mall. He needed clothes to wear. Summer was nearing. He brought a list. It was a list of clothes to buy. He looked at the list. He needed t-shirts. He entered a store. The name of the store was Summer Shirts. He bought ten shirts. They were different colors. Three of the shirts were blue. Another three were red. Two of the shirts were white. The last two were black. He crossed shirts off his list. He needed pants. He walked into a store. The name of the store was Fancy Pants. He purchased five pairs of pants. Two pants were blue jeans. Another two were tan slacks. The last ones were brown khakis. He crossed pants off his list. He just needed shoes. He walked into a shoe store. He saw sandals. He bought sandals instead of regular shoes. He was now ready for summer. He bought a computer. It was a laptop. The laptop was expensive. It cost him several hundred dollars. He saved up money. It took him four months to save enough. He earned his money. He worked at a restaurant after school. The job was hard. He was determined to buy a computer. He never quit his job. 
he went to the Best Buy to purchase it. He walked in with the money in his hand. He knew which computer he wanted already. He paid for the computer and took it home right away. He opened the box. He lifted the computer gently from the box. It's beautiful, he said. The laptop was sleek. It looked nice. It was the happiest day in his life. He turned it on. He logged on the internet. She was popular. Everybody at school knew her name. She liked the attention. She was pretty. She had blonde hair. It was long and straight. She wore expensive clothes. She wore classy perfume. She put on pricey makeup. All the other girls were jealous of her. All the guys liked her. She was not interested in being a, in a relationship with anybody. One day, her parents told her a surprise. They said they were moving. She was devastated. She moved the next week. They drove to Colorado. She went to a new school. She was not popular anymore. Nobody knew her name. Nobody liked her. No one was jealous of her. She was just an ordinary girl now. She was sad at first. She soon felt happy. It was a nice change. It was nice being a regular person. She did not miss being popular anymore. He was the king. He was a kind ruler. He gave to the poor. He fed the hungry. He healed the sick. The people loved their king. Their king had an army. His army was vast. It protected the kingdom. Invaders would attack. The king's army was strong. They battled with swords and shields. They never lost a battle. The king was proud of his army. He was proud of his kingdom. The king was rich. He had all the gold in the world. Gold made the king greedy. He wanted more. He searched for gold in the world. His army brought him silver. He did not want silver. He wanted gold. The king grew mad. His people revolted. The king was overthrown. The king was banished from his kingdom. He left this world. She liked to talk. Talking was easy for her. She talked to friends. Hello, how are you? Her friends replied, I am fine. She was always polite. Bless you, she would say when someone sneezed. Have a nice day, she would say after saying goodbye. She was a good talker. She was skilled at talking. She talked all the time. She talked over the phone. She talked during class. She talked at her work. Her job was to talk. She helped customers buy things. Can I help you, sir? She would ask. Every day she talked to customers. She was always helpful. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me, a customer said one day. You are very welcome, she said and smiled. 
Talking is a good skill to have. She practiced it every day. The world is a big place. There are hundreds of millions of people in the world. People live all around the world. There are many places in the world. We live in the United States. The United States is famous for democracy. There are many people living in the United States. People from the United States come from different places in the world. Canada is another place in the world. Canada is known for its clean air. England is another place in the world. People speak English in England. People in England have accents. England has a queen. Africa is another place in the world. Africa has wildlife. Africa has more wildlife than other places. Lions and elephants live in Africa. Africa is a beautiful place. There is beauty in every place in the world. She walked into a restaurant. It was lunchtime. She was hungry. She sat down at a table. The waiter handed her a menu. What would you like to drink? The waiter asked. She asked for water. She was on a budget. She stopped buying drinks. Water was always free. She liked eating fish. She looked at the menu. There was no fish. She called the waiter. Do you serve fish? She asked. No, I am sorry, the waiter said. She was disappointed. She looked at the menu again. She needed time to think. The waiter left. She did like chicken. She did not like beef. She did not even like pork. She was a picky eater. She made up her mind. The waiter came back. She ordered lamb. The waiter wrote it down. He smiled and left. She ate lamb for lunch. Tom was a black cat. He was a house cat. He never went outside. He was kept well fed. Tom always got attention. He was a spoiled cat. Tom was sleeping. He heard a sound. It came from the window. He stood on his four legs. He meowed. He went to the window. He looked outside. There was another cat. The cat was white. Tom jumped out the window. He landed on his feet. Cats always land on their feet. The white cat saw Tom. The white cat was a girl. Tom walked towards the white cat. She ran away. Tom chased her. They ran around the house. Tom was having fun. The white cat ran away. Tom did not catch her. It was getting dark. Tom climbed back inside his window. It was a fun day for Tom. She coughed. She was sick. She had the flu. She did not know how she caught it. She went to see her doctor. She did not like the clinic. The clinic was small and damp. There were always people waiting. She sat in the waiting room. Kids were running around. People were sitting next to her. They were coughing and sneezing. 
She was coughing and sneezing too. She felt terrible. She waited for hours. They finally called her name. She quickly went to the nurse. The doctor will see you now, the nurse said. She went into a small room. She sat down on a bed. The doctor walked in. Hello, Susan, the doctor said. She told him she had the flu. The doctor checked her symptoms. He gave her a prescription. Feel better, the doctor said. Thank you, doctor, she said. John sat on the porch playing his electric bass. He had a brother called James. James played guitar. He played it every day. He played the guitar well. Sometimes John and Jim made music together. John sang the melody. Jim sang the harmony. They both played their instruments together. They made beautiful music. The music was catchy. Strangers noticed Jim and John playing music. They would walk closer to the porch to listen to the music. John sang country music. Everybody in the neighborhood loved it. Country music was their favorite kind of music. Jim and John lived in Texas. Texans love country music. John and Jim were talented. When they grew older, they did not stop making music. They recorded their songs. The songs were heard on the radio. Jim and John became country music stars. She turned on the radio. She tuned in her favorite radio station. The station played pop music. She loved pop music. She sang along to the radio. She sang in the shower every morning. She jumped in the shower. She sang her heart out. She stepped out of the shower. She grabbed the radio. She took it to the room. She turned it on again. She put on her clothes while listening to the radio. She did not stop singing. Her brother did not like her singing. Be quiet, he would yell. She could not hear him because the radio was too loud. She wanted to be a pop singer. It was her dream. She wanted to make her dream come true. She entered singing contests. She won first place. She was a great singer. It was time for the camping trip. He was scared. He was scared of bears. He did not want to be eaten. He was also scared of bugs, ghosts, and poison ivy. His family packed a bug spray and a first aid kit. His brother told him ghosts were not real. He was still scared of everything. It was his first time camping. He was also excited. He brought his journal. He wrote in the journal, Dear Journal, I hope I do not get eaten by a bear. It was his worst fear. Bears were huge. He saw one on television. They had sharp teeth. They had big claws. They roared loudly. It was the night before the trip. He could not go to sleep. He could not stop thinking about the bear. He went to sleep. He dreamed about bears. It was not a nice dream. He liked her. He liked her smile. He liked her voice. He liked her hair. He liked her nature. 
She did not know that he liked her. She did not know him. He was a stranger to her. It did not matter for him. He wanted to talk to her. He waited for the right time. She was always with her friends. He waited until she was alone. She was walking down the street. She was going home. She was alone. He was driving to the store. He saw her. He drove up to her. She turned around. She saw him in the car. Hello, what is your name? He said. She ignored him. She did not want to talk to strangers. Would you like a ride home? He asked her. No, thank you, she replied. He parked his car. He got out of his car. He walked up to her.